Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about my conch piercing experience. Now, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, you would not have known that I got my conch pierced. Yes, I got it pierced a couple days ago. Um, I look so much right now. That's what it looks like. If you guys are wondering, this little crown, um, labret post, it's a labret post, in my trick is piercing here, that is from Karma 7. You guys know I absolutely love, love, love that company. No, they are not sponsoring me to say that. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's my conch piercing. Hopefully you guys can see it well. Um, I would show you guys in the back, but my ear really hurts to move it. So you guys just get to see the front. And I just have my um, side cut that's growing out just clipped up to keep it away from that piercing. Um, anyway, so this is going to be my experience on the whole piercing of that. And I apologize for my appearance. I'm tired. It's early in the morning. It's been storming all fucking night and it's been keeping me awake. But I wanted to get up and film for you guys. But I just have to like put on any makeup. And my nose is kind of runny. I think I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm getting a cold. I don't know. Allergies? I don't know. Alright, so I just want to get into it. Um, if you guys are wondering, oh, there's a hummingbird outside my window. That's cute. Alright, sorry. Um, if you guys are wondering, um, I do plan to do updates with this piercing. Um, maybe not as many as I did for like my nipples or like my nipples or anything like that, but yeah, and this is my it's number my piercing is this. This is my thirteenth piercing, I think. Um it was my fourteenth, but I had to take one of my piercings out. Um, but I will I'm gonna film a video right after I get done with this one. All about that so that one should come out later this week um but anyway you'll figure it out but yeah so this is number 13 all right so I have notes on my phone just kind of help keep me on track because as you guys can already tell if you don't watch any of my other videos I tend to ramble and get off track all right so I got pierced August the 8th and it was an early birthday present from my boyfriend um I've been wanting it for a very long time but <laughs> those of you who don't know, I was trying to heal technically five piercings all at once. Um, my dimples, which these are probably all healed now, I would say they're over a year old. Um, and then the girls, and then my navel. So, I mean, I count this as one piercing, but you know, technically it is two, and then that's two, and then my navel's one. So five piercings all at once. Um, so I just want to give my body a break and all that, but I feel like it was it was time to get another piercing, and like I said, it was an early birthday present for my boyfriend. So I got pierced August the 8th, and I believe today's the, um, the 10th. I don't know, I think it's the 10th. Yeah, it's the 10th. I don't know if you guys heard that, my cat's out there being fucking insane. Alright, so pain level. That's what everyone pretty much wants to know with any sort of piercing is how bad did it hurt? Now I've said this before and I will say it again. I'll have to say it a million times after this. What hurts me may not hurt you and vice versa. Pain is just something that is completely individual for everyone. Okay? You know, some people's nipples didn't hurt them and they hurt me. And you know, it's just one of those things like everyone dif is different. So for me, this one definitely I would say that it didn't hurt as much, but it definitely stung, which really added to it. Um, for any of you people out there who are peers, you will know what I'm talking about with that. Um, but I would, I'll just say, out of you know, ten being the most painful, I would give it a six for me. Um, mine definitely bled, <laughs> um, but I feel like a minute or two. Now, bleeding is something that's like it's the same thing with piercing; it just depends on your body. Um, my cat's like tearing up my house. Anyway, yeah, so it just depends on your body. Um, you know, when I got my nose pierced, for instance, I didn't even bleed at all. But I had a friend who got hers pierced, and it just ble bled like a fountain out of her nose. So it's just, it depends on your body and everything like that. But I did bleed for about a minute or two. My piercer had to hold gauze on it just to kind of suck up the blood and stop the bleeding. I don't know if you guys heard that. I am so sorry. My cat, she just gets in those moods where she's like, just acts like she's on crack. I apologize. Alright, so if you guys follow me 
on you know Instagram and all that good shit. I posted a picture of my conch piercing um, and my ear was bright red. Now that picture was taken right after I got my piercing. Like as soon as I left the shop and got in the car, I was snapping pictures of my ear and all that good stuff. So that picture was taken like right after. And you guys will see that my ear was like bright, bright red, um, which is, you know, that's normal, that's common. Um, but my ear felt really, really warm and which is also like a common thing with, you know, um, any sort of like cartilage, ear piercing. Um, but yeah, I just, it felt really warm, if you guys are wondering. And my piercer said that like, um, I might bruise also, um, around the piercing, more so in the back, which I can't see the back. My boyfriend told me last night that there's no bruising or anything on the back, but yeah, I don't, I saw a little bit of bruising, um, or like discoloration, which I think it was bruising on the front last night, um, when I was looking at it, when I was cleaning it. But I'm not going to get too much into that because, like I said, I'm going to make update videos on it. But yeah, so there might be some slight bruising. Now, I am. I just want to go over jewelry options with you guys. Now, you can get CBR or captive bead rings, um, which looks like what I have in. That's obviously what I have. Um, or you can get labret posts, um, which um, are more common for, like, your lip piercings. Um, they're just, like, a barbell with like a flat back on one and it's of two balls um or some shops do this I don't think mine do mine do mine does um but you can get just a sh plain barbell put in um like a typical standard barbell put in um but with that the barbell and the CBRs that's just kind of more risky because um it can get moved around a lot and if you have a barbell put in like, yeah, it's good for, like, the length in case it spoils and everything like that, but, um, you can just get, like, a longer, um, labret post put in, but the ball on the back, it can cause problems because it, you know, can get caught more and everything like that. Now, with CBRs, um, typically, piercers will not recommend them, um, on a healing conch piercing, and that's because, you know, they move around, and, um, it's just easier to get them caught on things, and, you know, and piercer did warn me about that, but at the same time, you know, me and my piercer both know that I'm more experienced with piercings than like the typical person that comes in. And I'm not saying I'm an expert by any means. Please let me just put that out there. I'm not an expert. I'm not saying I am. But obviously, you know, I am more experienced. Um, you know, and if this is causing a problem, then I can go in there and I can get different joy put in. But I did purposely choose to put the captive beat ring in. Um, because I like how that looks. I feel like that's more me. I don't want labret post put in and maybe some point in my life I will But when I envision myself with this piercing I envision it with the CBR. So that's why I have my done with CBR, but It's up to you your anatomy your piercer everything like that Just take all that shit into consideration if you are wanting to get that done um, all right, and I'll just tell you guys healing time in case you're wondering healing time is pretty typical with this piercing um, considering your body takes to it well and everything like that, it's going to be six months to a year, um, and you can change it, change the jewelry at six months. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't have any more notes left on my phone. Um, you know, piercing it was pretty typical. I'm sorry, I don't, don't know the, um, gauge or anything like that. I do apologize. I always mean to ask my piercer, but then I, like, always forget because I get, like, excited, like, piercing um so I do apologize but you know just the standard conch piercing size I would say but yeah I absolutely love it so like I said I'm going to be doing updates on it so just keep an eye out for those and that's it I love you all thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my playlist link down below where I have like all of my like piercing related videos in there um don't forget to follow me on twitter instagram and tumblr and that's it I love you guys See you in my next video.